Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Mail Pit on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So, so this is what we'll be installing uh, Mail Pit. It makes it to where uh, if you have a local system uh, that you want to get mail from, that you don't want to actually set up a real SMTP server, you can set up this and send the mail to it, and then you can see it in a nice UI and be able to get to each mail that, that comes through. So it's inspired by MailHog, which MailHog is no longer maintained. And um, it has quite a few features. So that's what we'll be installing today. So, I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. So, I'm going to scroll down to Mail Pit on Dockage. And then I'm going to go in the Docker and Pose. So, version 3 of Docker and Pose is being used. I'm going to set some services in the service underneath the service called App. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no year before this. So, it's default in the Docker Hub. And this is the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag. And um, it's 1.10.1. That's the latest version currently right now. Container name is going to be called Mail Pit. The restart unless stopped. So that means that if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set a volume. So Mail Pit data. That's a local volume. And then a data on the container. The, the left side is the host. The right side is the cont a container. I'm going to set an environment variable for the time zone. You can put your own time zone in place of this UTC right here. I'm going to uh, set some ports. So on the left is the host. On the right is the container. So 8025 is on the host. And 8025 is on the container. And on the host is 1025. And 1025 on the container. This is the UI port. And then this is the SMTP port. Okay, n now I'm going to uh, set the volume down here. Uh, so, mail pit data. So, I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over my dockage and get this installed. So, now I'm going to go into my dockage. I'm going to go to compose over here. And then I'm going to give it a stack name. So, I'm going to give it a mail pit stack as the name. And then I'm going to go over here to the editor. I'm going to paste the Docker Compose that we copied into it. And then um, you can see it auto-populated over here. And you can edit things. So that's really nice. And um, so let, let's go ahead and deploy it. So I'm going to deploy up here. So what this is doing is it's pulling down the Docker container from the registry. Getting it set up and getting it up with Docker Compose. So you can see it is up and it is serving on 8025 for the UI. So we got it done. So now I'm gonna explain the stack options. So you can see active right here, X did Z, uh, zero and inactive. So this gives you a good explanation of what stacks are active and if there's any X did or inactive. So I'm gonna go over here to stack of mail pit stack. And then you can see it's active up here. You can see the edit button so you can click on it and you can edit the Docker Compose over here and over here. You can edit the services over here and it'll stack the services if you put one more in here and you can also ch uh, ch uh, change things and it changes it over here. So you can also save in the, and then de discard your changes. You can add a container right here and then add it and then it'll add it in the Docker Compose over here. You can set internal networks and external networks. So I'm gonna go back to the stack so you can restart the stack and then you can update the current tag on the stack. You can stop the stack and you can stop and down the stack and then you can delete the stack. You can also go to the UIs from here and click on each port. So this is the web uh, a port and then this is the SMDP port. You can also go into the bash. So you can go SH and then use SH instead of bash. So I'm gonna go back in the stack. You can see the logs down here of what it's doing. So that's a little bit about this stack options. I'm gonna start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm gonna scroll down to test SMTP connection right here. 
I'm going to go into run.sh. So um, we're going to start bin bash, and then we're going to set some default variables. So the SMTP server, the SMTP port, which is 1025, and then sender, recipient, subject, and message. Then we're going to ask the user um, if they want to, uh, to to change any of this. So uh, they're asked if they want to change the SMTP, uh, SMTP server, the SMTP port, the, the sender email, the recipient email, the email subject, and the message body. And then um, uh, if they don't uh, put a value in these, it's going to go with the defaults up here that are already set for them. And then it's going to come down here and put that all together. And then it's going to use Telnet to send the email off. So I'm going to go backwards to test SMP, uh, SMTP connection. Then I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy this bash uh, a command. And then I'm going to go over to my terminal and uh, send off an email. So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and run the script. So I'm going to paste it in to my terminal. And then I'm going to press return or enter. Now it's going to ask you for uh, your SMTP server. I'm going to put my IP address to my dockage in. So now once you do that, you're going to press return or enter. So I'm going to go with the default port of 1025 because that's what it is. And then I'm going to go with the default things for these two. And then it is ready to send. And it's sending off. So, we have successfully sent the test uh, email to uh, MailPit. So now if we go back in the dockage, I'm going to go to the MailPit stack. I'm going to go into 8025 right here. And then you will see that you have your uh, uh, the email that we sent. So you can mark all as read. You can delete all the, uh, the emails in here. You can also view the emails. It's really nice. HTML, HTML source, text, headers, raw, HTML check, and then link check. You can mark as unread and you can delete. You can return back to the home screen. You can also go ahead and download the raw message, the HTML body, the HTML uh, screenshot, and the text body. And you can see it in, in different uh, formats. So mobile, a, ta a tablet, and then a desktop. When you get more emails in here, you can switch between the emails. So I'm going to go back to return. So you, you can also go down here and change it to light, dark, and auto. And then you can go up here to search the emails. And then no results. So you can also uh, show, show 50 emails, 100 or 200. So that's a little bit about uh, MailPit and how it works. So I just went over step by step on how to get MailPit running on Dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.